Hey guys, August 29th at 10.49, so literally as soon as I got in and, um, used the washroom, I literally started shaking, and so I was like, no, I can't do videos, but, again, I want to show you guys that I'm, I'm still okay that I made it home fine, and that, um, literally all that I could do was pretty much put my pajamas on and even that was kind of hard because I've been shaking so I'm actually shaking right now if you look at my hands so these are the pills that I take and as soon as I take these pills then this shakiness usually goes away but sometimes it doesn't but this is my whole body shakes like this and I know people are always going to say it's fake it's fake it's fake but that's because they don't understand it thankfully they don't have this issue I've had it now for my birthday will be four years that I've had it. I got it as soon as I turned 40 for whatever reason. Doctors still don't know what it is. So they call it an unknown shaking condition. It's kind of like tremors, but not exactly like tremors, if that makes any sense. And so, yeah, they just call it unknown shaking condition. Thankfully for me, I got medication that helps. But it also makes me very tired. And, like, I can't even hold a glass right now without breaking it because I'm shaking some <laughs> shaking so it does get frustrating and it really gets frustrating when people don't believe me because I've had this for so many years and I'm like well I've showed you guys all the videos from the beginning to the end it's a lot better now than it was before oh um, <laughs> but just use the litter <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna have to clean that even though I don't want to get up but yeah, so thankfully, because of this medication, my body's not shaking as much, but it's still shaking. And then, since I made noodles last night, and these dumplings, you could just stick in the microwave, so that's what I did. And that's what I'm eating, because with medication, you should always eat something, because of your stomach. But it's not shaking as bad as it was when I got home, but... I don't want people to worry because I know people who follow me throughout the day and don't always check the community tab. So like even now, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to even open my pills <sighs> because of the shakiness. But sometimes it's okay. So I usually take it right away and then it puts me to sleep. That's bad. <laughs> So, like I said, I don't always film it, but now that I got new people following me, and like, I want you guys to know what the shaking condition is. So, yeah, if you look at my hands, they're shaking quite a lot, and this is not fake at all. It's been like this since I got home. So, it's on, and they say it's caused by the nervous system. But I'm not nervous about anything, so that's why I don't make sense. That's why when I say I smoke because of my condition, Smoking does help your the nerves, and I know people say that's an excuse, but it's not. Even my doctors say the same thing. So, this is the pill that I take. It's pretty small. But that's good that, uh, Bud used the litter, because I do have to get a new DVD, because the DVD, this one I've seen already. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so like I said, no matter what I say, even if I had doctors come on here and, and talk for me, people are still going to say it's fake. So regardless, people are just always going to hate. Sadly, this is not the only condition that I have. And yes, right now, at the moment, my hands aren't shaking, but other parts of my body are. You guys can't see that. So that's the other thing, too. So it's like, it gets very frustrating. And I, I get why people don't believe me, because they don't never had to experience anything like this. And like I said, I've had this now for almost four years. So, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. And then on top of that, I had the chronic fatigue syndrome, so I've been tired since I woke up. And, like, I didn't even take anything out of my bag as soon as I got back home. I just took the milk out, the vegan milk from the fridge, and everything's still in my bag. Took a long time to get dressed, unfortunately, but <laughs> it is what it is. But I am going to take my medication. I am drinking more water too. I've actually had two of these already today. So 
So, that's the other reason why people go, oh, your conditions are fake because you're not shaking. When I see you, or you don't do this, I'm like, that's because of the medication. <laughs> I take this literally every single day. Thank, thankfully, it's covered by the ministry. Otherwise, it would have been like 40 bucks. But yeah, I take one of these every single night before I go to sleep, even if I'm not shaking. So, just because I know my body will shake. But it does get very frustrating, especially, like, to do things. That's why having small little things, like, my Narnia posters, I'm loving them so much right now. Because I'm, like, it gives me something to escape kind of thing from this world. It's like, the fantasy. That's why I keep saying, screw this, I'm going to Narnia. Even though Narnia doesn't exist, but it's a fantasy. And it helps me get away with what I have to deal with sometimes. And that's why I, I listen to it in the background when I'm sleeping on YouTube. But, Chronicles of Narnia. There we go. So yeah, I really have, like, that's why people are like, oh yeah, so much stuff on your walls. I'm like, I have everything that I love on my walls. Because, like I said, with what I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, it's a lot, and sometimes I don't want to be here, but the, the small little things in life keeps me going, like bed and having the stuff and beds up on the window, so yeah, it's, it gets very frustrating, like I keep saying, I know people are never going to fully believe me, and that's fine, like I said, I just, I just block those people then, and... If people are going to be the way they are, they're just going to be the way they are. It's because they don't understand. And lucky for them, they don't have to understand it. But like I said, every single condition is different. There's a lot of people who have cancer. And cancer, some people have to live with the cancer and treatment. And each treatment is different for every single person. For uh, one of my friends constantly talks about the person that they know that they have the same shaking condition, but they don't have any medication for it, so they have to live in a home. That's why I keep saying, as long as I don't have to live in a home or a hospital ever again, I'm fine. I just, yeah, I can never go back down that road. Um, I've, like I said, I lived in the hospital for like almost pretty much almost a year after I was born. I think, something like that, but I still remember it, like, it was yesterday, and I talked to other people who are premature babies, and they're like, yeah, they can't sleep without any weight, and they need noise in the background, too, because that's exactly what it's like in the hospital, <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, but yeah, and again, it's not caused by my diet, it's not caused by... My lifestyle is slowly caused because I was just surviving triple it. And the fact that I'm still here at almost 44 years old, it's the doctors still are surprised. Same with neurologists. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go before my food gets cold. And I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, now I'll be home to my birthday. And this is another reason why I don't like going out because when I start shaking, if I need to take medication and go to bed, I can't. I don't have to worry about the people being around and stuff, so. <sighs> yeah, that's why I keep saying, welcome to my haunted world. <laughs> because it's not easy. It's not easy, that's for sure. But thankfully, since the medication helped stop my shaking, I am going to get up to do the cat litter and change the DVD eat and go to bed so yeah like i said i know people are always gonna say this is fake this is fake this is fake but that's because they don't have to live with it that's why if they did they would know <laughs> they would know it's uh i would i wouldn't want i wouldn't want anybody to deal with this but the fact that i've been dealing with this for four years and I still have people constantly say, it's fake, it's fake, it's fake. And I'm still going and I'm still telling people about my conditions. I'm pretty proud of myself. Because there's a lot of times where I wanted to give up. 
and not do anything and just sleep and sleep and sleep and then just wait for the end but you can't do that because people are counting on you it's like I know my like I keep saying I know my brothers if I ever ended up in heaven that way they would be pissed off They'd be like, you're supposed to go when it's your time, and it's not your time. So, regardless, you gotta hang in there. Like I keep saying, it's it's been hard living with this condition for the past four years, but I also have tons of other issues that I have to deal with. But then I also have medication, and I can live on my own, and then I have YouTube, so thankfully I have that, but... This is why I don't like going in and why I don't like being around people is basically because I can't control my condition. And like I said, if I need my medication, like I did when I was sitting at the lot home, I just took it. And now I'm probably going to be out in like 10, 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So if you don't have this condition, be grateful. If you only have one condition, be grateful. <laughs> because it's it's a lot and on top of it like I keep saying because I'm so tired because the chronic fatigue my body was shaking so that also tires out tires me out tired my body's tired out I'm tired out so I sleep a lot more than usual but yeah <clears throat> anyways I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm fine and Bud's fine Bud's here <laughs> <laughs> a fun scratching pose. Hey, bud, are you going nuts? <laughs> He's going nuts. You're going nuts, and I'm tired. He's like King Bud. The one and only Bud, and once again, I don't have any other channels. With Bud, I have channels. I just don't have really any videos on them. And this is the one and only Bud. <laughs> so, like, comment, share, subscribe, and hopefully we'll get to 900 before my birthday, September 5th. So, tomorrow, if I'm cooking, I will be filming it. So, stay tuned for that. And, yeah, I'm back. It's just that my conditions are taking the best of me so i gotta get go get ready to eat and go to bed and i'll talk to you guys next time i'm awake here on phantom stories welcome to my haunted world xoxo og operatives